Hello Virgo, welcome back to the Alice Illuminator for your He Says, She Says spread for the month of September. So let's see how we are doing. So happy, happy birthday with your Virgo season. I hope you all are having a great, great birthday season so far. So let's see what is going on in your relationship department. So let's see what are the messages for Virgo in love and relationship what are the messages that you have for Virgo and whomever you are dealing with? What is going on with them? We're going to have a look. So let's see. I will have an extended reading available on my website if you are interested at the end. So let's see. What are the messages? What's going on in Virgo's world? I feel like you guys are pushing through a lot of obstacles right now because there is a new cycle that is opening up, um, a new cycle that is going to begin within love. I feel like you guys are trying to make, like, gather the strength and the courage to finish up all that you had um, been struggling with in the past and I feel like you all yeah you you are definitely aware that there is some some changes that are going to happen within the love life uh, I have the queen of swords here I got the lover's card in reverse and the knight of cups so in the past you may have been turning your back towards a very deep connection and I feel like uh, you were not really trustworthy of this individual, like you did not see the full potential. Um, that's what I'm picking up. You were very, very picky is what I'm picking up on with this Queen of Swords type of energy. You could have been dealing with a Gemini, does not have to be. But with the Knight of Cups, I feel like someone has been trying to get your attention, but you were just like, no focused on a lot of things from the past. Perhaps you were trying to clean up your past and your past issues, uh, and therefore you were not very much concentrated on uh, bringing in harmony with this individual. That's what I'm picking up on. I do see a water sign coming in, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I do also feel like you're very much focused on yourself, like self-love, self-care, um, realizing your own needs and your own goals. And you're becoming very, um, very strict with having demands in love is what I'm picking up on. Like you're not going to tolerate a lot of things. You're very much in a Queen of Swords type of energy. But the Queen of Swords is also looking towards the past. So it feels like you still are trying to gather up some information or gather up some type of a truth in regards to the past before you move forward to um, with this offer that is about to come in for you or has already came in. So let's see what is going on with your person. What is going on with your person, please? What's going on with the person that Virgo is dealing with? The full reversed. Oh, okay. Interesting. So we got the full reverse and we got the queen of cups, the temperance card and the seven of pentacles. So you're dealing with someone that is waiting for, um, for you to be ready is what I'm picking up on. Like this person has a lot of love for you. This person has a deep, deep connection and I feel like they're waiting for the right moment. It feels like they are very, very much invested in you, although they may not make the first move because I feel like with the fool in the reverse, they're being very hesitant. Um, they're trying to, um, you know, I feel like they can feel your energy being a little bit withdrawn, being very straightforward like okay this is how it's going to be this is what i'm going to tolerate so i feel like you have not always been very much open to receive or very much open for this person to actually um, talk to you in some kind of way like there is something that has been either bothering you or you have been um, trying to figure something out mentally and i feel like this person is being very patient with how they move forward with you and how they are going to express their love. I feel like they're very much invested still. So even if you're not in on speaking terms, this person is trying to maintain their emotional stability. Um, there is a lot of love here. And they, I, I do strongly feel like they're waiting for some type of reconciliation. See, we got the three of cups here at the bottom of the deck as well. So your person is very much invested and waiting for you to actually calm down. That's what I'm picking up. Like maybe... 
um, maybe maybe they pissed you off with a very foolish behavior in the past where they acted very reckless where they acted very um, you know in a very unstable way and they showed a lot of lack of confidence within within this relationship or within themselves and you were just like no nah, I'm not gonna I'm not going to tolerate this like not at all so let's see what is going on furthermore for you six of wands you're getting a lot of uh, victory over whatever it is that you have been struggling with for example, if you've been trying to search for some answers or so for some truths, you're going to receive that. You're going to, uh, it's going to also make you feel better with the Six of Wands. And also, I feel like there is a lot of attention coming towards you. Like you might be, um, you might be getting some type of a new adventure, like I'm, like I'm feeling for you, and it's going to be very, very successful. You're going to accomplish whatever it is that you've been wanting to accomplish. See the Ace of Swords. Like I said, there is some type of a truth that's going to come in. That's going to make you feel very victorious. Like, yes, this was the answer. Like, it's a yes answer kind of like energy is what I'm picking up on. Or you may have been wanting to hear something very specific from this individual. And this person is going to say exactly what you wanted to hear. The Seven of Wands is here. So I feel like you are still a little bit... Hmm, let's see. Wow, Page of Swords and the World card. Like I said, there is something that you are... Because we got the Page of Swords here and we got the World card. So there is definitely some type of information that you are going to find out, that you're going to seek out or receive from this individual that is going to give you some type of closure that you are going to be able to move forward and close that past chapter off because I feel like you've been hanging on to something that ha that has been said in the past or done in the past and you couldn't figure out why they actually behave like that so this month around you're going to receive exactly what you've been wishing for or hoping for in terms of communication in terms of a breakthrough within this um, within this relationship that is going to give you a sense of accomplishment like I said both cards here with the six of wands and the world card are talking about some great achievement or accomplishment and it has all to do with some type of new information that you're going to uh, to reach see nine of cups wish fulfilled so if you've been waiting for some type of information or communication it is going to come through so spirit is saying do not dim your light as well because you're going to receive a lot of attention you're going to receive a lot of people navigating towards you don't don't give them too much of your energy you know try to protect your energy as well because some people can be trying to um, get your attention like on a constant level and you need to be able to say no all right like if you need to say no to something, just say it, right? Like if, if something is too much on you or some, someone is asking too much of your energy, then just try to say no to that. What is going on with your person? Wow, Ace of Wands. <laughs> King of Cups reverse and the Ace of Wands. So we got already the Queen and the King of Cups here. So yeah, you're dealing with someone that can be emotionally sometimes in a, on a roller coaster ride and they're not really they don't know how to show their emotions this can be someone that can be emotionally very manipulative like i said so perhaps that's why you need to be cautious with how much attention you actually give this person because they can you know they, they like the attention and this is a kind of person that does not like the fact that you can get a lot of attention as well and when you do get some attention from other people or I don't know. I, I wanted to say your fans because it looks like you you are going to exceed excel in something that is going to be, you know, having a lot of fans around you or people that are just like praising you. And this person is not that phantom of that. Like they can be very jealous individual. Like when they see that you're getting the attention, they they're gonna ignore you. They're gonna ignore um, like say something a little bit sneaky just to make you feel a little bit down and you are aware of that and that's why you're just like no i got you i see what you're doing and i'm not going to allow you to do it 
And that means that you have learned your lesson from the past. And that means the world card is here saying, you know, you've learned a very difficult lesson here and you have accomplished it. And that's when you get the reward from Saturn. And this has been a, a very long lesson, like you've been in this cycle for a very long time, but you now have gathered the strength to say no to things that are bringing you down. And that's how you bring yourself up. <laughs> Ace of Wands. This person may be trying to, I wanted to say get in your pants, I don't know why, just, okay. Yeah, I told you, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Listen, there is a lot of positivity here, all right? And I don't, I don't, I have a lot of reversal sometimes picking out, but this time around, Virgo, things are changing for you, definitely. There's a new cycle that is opening up. Uh, this person wants to have a new start and a new beginning, although they may not express their emotions freely. So even if they do come forward with a communication, it may not be like all that lovey-dovey for you, but it is going to be... He, this person, and I want to say he, he is going to hand you the truth, all right? So they want to move forward. They want to make things happen. Knight of Wands, this is a lot of passion. There's a lot of energy that they're feeling towards you to take action on. And with the Ten of Cups, they really want to have a really happy foundation with you. So like I said, this is really good. See, the moon is here in the reverse. So if you're dealing with a Pisces or a water sign, this person may not always know how to express their emotions and their feelings. And I feel like they're going to express... They have to express it because they want to break the cycle with you as well. Because you are moving forward and if they don't catch up with you, you might be moving away. What is the blockage? What is the blockage for Virgo, please? Okay, there we go. The Empress and the Knight of Wands. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this person has been in the Knight of Wands energy for quite some time now, where they have been very much in and out of your energy. Um, I feel like there has been a lot of sexual energy here as well that you're not sure what to do with. Like, maybe you were thinking, like, okay, is this lust? Is this person is like lusting over me? Like, what is their intentions? Because they come in and out, they're not stable, they're not really showing that they want to have a long term. So you may have been very confused in that realm. But um, Spirit is saying, like, trust your intuition. Like, your intuition has been screaming at you that this person has a lot of love for you. But their action is not always showing that. Um, this might be someone that is very free-spirited. And I feel like there is a lot of love, but you're holding it quite inside like you're not really wanting to show all that you have for this individual so I feel like that is what's blocking you like not listening to yourself not listening to your intuition and just looking at the facts and 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 the fact that they've been in and out of your life you have been trying to ignore um, the deep calling that this this individual brings up to you so to speak but again, it's a very positive blockage. So that just shows me that you're blocking a little bit your own. Um, how do I say that? Like you're blocking your own creative expression. OK, so maybe you're not really expressing yourself um, in a creative way. You're holding yourself back a lot, like you're trying to accustom yourself to their behavior instead of like being who you truly are like maybe you're trying to adjust yourself like okay this person is um acting now coldish so i'm gonna act coldish as well oh they don't want to talk like i don't want to talk as well so that's something that you need to work on but i feel like you are definitely already working on it But overall, it still looks very good. It looks very, very promising. Like you got, first time you got such a positive, positive, positive reading. Like I knew like last month there was like patience is key. Like you gotta be patient with this, with the situation. And now that I'm seeing your cards laying out, it's all going towards a very positive change. So for those who have been patient, there you go. Nine of cups is their blockage. What is the blockage for the person? Like this person really has a strong, strong desire to 
come back around to you. They have a strong, strong desire, but their ego is really blocking them from making any movement forward like this person is constantly waiting i feel like they're really waiting for uh, another judgment call so uh, a rebirth or uh, just to talk about whatever whatever has happened to, in the past but they're really yeah they're 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 a little bit on the on the on the background all right like they're they're waiting for the right moment they're they're contemplating they're um being very patient like there is a lot of like i don't want to say slow energy but it's kind of like this person knows really deep in their soul like i can feel it in my in my stomach they know that the time is going to come and they are patiently preparing for that judgment day where both of you are going to have that um second chance because i do feel like it's not completely there yet and it feels like both of you are aware that it might come very soon because this person feels um like they have the strength card in the reverse so this person may have a weakness towards you or they may feel like they can get um you know out of their character or um, get some type of a emotional outburst when they're dealing with you so they rather just withdraw themselves but at the same time they're they're kind of like also blocking their own yearning all right this is a yearning this is their wish but they're blocking it so it might be that they're very much busy with their own with their own life with what whatever they want in life and it's becoming very egocentric and that might be a blockage for you as well as for them intentions for virgo what are your intentions Ooh, five of swords so this is this has been a long battle between both of you where both of you have been definitely you know trying to win every argument like like i said like for example, the person does not, I don't know, the person does not want to um, send you the first message and you'll be like, okay, I'm not going to send them the message as well. Like like that kind of game playing, uh, it could be going much, much deeper than that. Like this is definitely some type of a conflict that both of you had. Perhaps you separated with some nasty words that had been said or uh, abrupt, an abrupt fight that led to both of you just moving into the different direction and now you're coming to the conclusion like okay maybe i'm regretting maybe i shouldn't hold on to this uh to this battle for my dear life so you're trying to release that so this is very good this is very good with the five of swords being in the reverse in your intentions it feels like you don't want to you know you don't want to compete with this individual like who's going to win who's going to be stronger who's going to do the silent treatment better like it's like that kind of competition is like fading away and it's making room for more light because that's what I'm seeing here. You're making room for light, for healing because she's got the star right there and she's trying to block away all the negativity from the past as well. So yeah, star. Yeah, nine of cups and the ace of pentacles in the reverse. So you are quite okay with not going too fast. Like maybe, maybe you do want to take it a little bit more easy on with this commitment or getting this commitment off the ground. Like you want to make sure that both of you feel emotionally very stable first, that you both feel very happy and content within each other like within yourselves as well as in within within the communication that is about to be had so you're not going to rush things you're not going to be like okay are we going to do this are we going to do that like you're not giving it a lot of restrictions all right so that's very good i feel like that's a very positive attribute to just go with the flow um, and to realize if it's really what you truly want in life because the nine of cups is like okay is it really what you truly want like you know so let's see what is their intentions what are their intentions or actions what is going to happen hangman reversed queen of source reversed so this person may have been very 
unreasonable, all right? They may have had a hard time to look at things from your perspective, like absolutely not wanting to agree, absolutely not wanting to give you um, what you wanted to hear, right? So we're going back to what is going on here. And now they're coming to their senses, like they do not want to be that person that is constantly in pain, constantly uh, very naggy or bitchy towards you, even if it's a man, you know, uh, they can be very cold offish and not wanting to see things from your, from your perspective, very judgmental at times. And now they're coming to the realization that like, it's not going to benefit them either. So they're releasing their way of being very jaded. And it could be that they got jaded from a past situation, but they're taking it out on you. And the Queen of Wands, see? Like they're coming much more into... Hmm, see, the Devil as well. So, let's see. I'm getting a couple of messages here. I do see some type of an ex as well that may have been bothering them. Um, but that person is about to be released is what I'm picking up on. Uh, for others of you with this Queen of Wands, there is this person really wanting to take action and really working on their way of communicating with you because they are understanding that the way that they've been communicating from a very harsh place is not going to get anywhere. So they're starting to um, gather their courage to actually come forward here with the Queen of Wands. They want to take action here. So let's see what we got further on before I move forward to the extended what are the messages I'm going to see how both of you feel about each other okay prosperity lies ahead and it's time to release negativity I feel like you're already doing that this is just a confirmation you are just really focused on releasing all the negativity uh, this is the full moon in Scorpio so we're just going to enter Scorpio in one, two seasons. So you might be working towards that now already because it's not serving you. Some things really need to be put in the past because what, where you're going, like I said, there's a lot of success coming, a lot of rewards, a lot of prosperity lies ahead. So with that, with that in your mind and in the, in your own forecast, knowing, you know exactly what to leave behind or who to leave behind. So to speak, let's see. Yeah, so try to protect your energy as much as you can from other people as well as your own lower vibrations. God is of awakening. This is a wondrous time of exploration, romance and creativity. So trust me, you're going to have a very new beginning here with a lot of uh, with a lot of love. This is a lot of sensual energy and awakening that is going to take place in your life and what you need to do or actually your person, because I feel like you're getting much more confident in yourself. It's like the other person that needs to uh, gather their confidence as well. Um, it's talking about goddess of compassion. Self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth, Virgo. So don't try to be too hard on yourself, um, you know, because within this negativity, there has been definitely a lot of things that were not set correctly or done correctly you know uh, mistakes have been made and we're stick sticking on to those mistakes for our dear lives and that's something that you need to release all right try to have compassion for yourself god of the underworld something which no longer serves you is about to end so it's about to end and i feel like it's not going to be a forceful ending it's something that you are working towards to because sometimes in life when we are holding on to things that are not positive for us but we make it positive in our own mind and then the tower comes in and it just you know it it, it flushes away all that is not light but when we are in the midst of that tower we don't see it right or we don't see that it's actually a negative situation because we have a lot of expectations and when that when those expectations do not get met we can get very anxious 
You are safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. So this Seven of Wands and Archangel Michael is a very good team up where it's talking about you needing to clear up your home, clean up your space, really focus on detoxing all this negative energy and at the same time understand that Archangel Michael is guiding you so call up upon him and in order to remove these negative energies all right that's what I have for you Virgo I hope this reading gave you all the information that you were seeking and I see you maybe on the other side on the illustrator.com for your extended of the use of she says spread or else I see you guys within a couple of weeks so thank you so much for being here do not forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon happy happy birthday and bye